Hello everyone, I am Mohammad Afif Akin. In this video, we are going to learn the design steps of slab beam type footing. So, in these types of problem, they will give the data like they will give column sizes and their respective distances with each other. Then they will give the loads on that particular columns. Then set bearing capacity or they can give the ultimate bearing capacity of the soil. Then material grade of concrete and steel. Then length or width of the footing. Okay. So what have you have to do? The procedure is here. The our first step will be to find out the size of footing. And for that, we have to compute the total load coming on the all columns. And after adding the loads from the different column, we will assume the weight of footing that is 5% to the 10% of working load on the columns. Okay, so after that we will add weight of footing and total load coming from the column and we will multiply it by the factor of safety that is 1.5 so that we will get the total factored load value. And if in the problem statement, if the only bearing capacity of soil is given, then we have to multiply it by the 2 so that we will get the ultimate bearing capacity of soil. And after that, we will find out the area of footing. And how we can find out the area of footing? We have the formula here that is factored load upon ultimate load bearing capacity of soil. So from that, we can find out the area of footing. In the problem statement, either they will give the length of footing or width of footing and from that we can find out the other value okay then our second step will be to find out the upward soil pressure and for that we have the formula that is factored load on the column divided by area of footing here remember that we have to consider only the load coming from the column okay so that after the finding out the ultimate upward soil pressure we will find out the projections Okay, and after finding the projections, we will go to find out the shear force. And we will find out the shear force at each and every point. Okay, and after that, we will draw shear force diagram. Similarly, we will find out the bending moment at each point and we will draw the bending moment diagram. And after that, here we have to design two things that is slab as well as beam. So firstly we will find out or we will design the footing slab and for that we have to compute the depth required for footing slab and how can we find out the depth required we have to equate the equation mu and mu limit okay and from that we can find out the depth required and after that we will find out the main reinforcement required that is area of steel we have the formula so after putting all the values in the formula, we can easily find out the area of main reinforcement. And by assuming the suitable diameter of bar, we can also find out the spacing of main reinforcement. Similarly, after that, we have to find out the area of distribution steel. And we know the formula of area of distribution steel. Then we will find out the spacing of distribution steel. Okay. So after designing the footing slab, we have to design the beam also. Okay, and for that, firstly we have to find out the depth required for the beam. Okay, then we have to divide the beam into different portion. And according to their type, we have to design that beam portion. Okay, so in next video, we will take the numerical based on design of slab beam type of footing so that you will get the brief idea about design of slab beam type footing. Thank you.